Hey everyone, and welcome to the Time Rust Brain Trust Podcast, the greatest podcast ever. He got the name right, guys. Ever, ever. He knows what the show know, is I, called. I know. Uh, <coughs> he he remembered the name. So uh, it's episode par- sixteen. Apparently, it's the one where I kill everyone. One That's where six, we're going maybe. at this point. Wait, wait, episode wait. one six. Wait, wait, wait. Starting with him, Eli. You can't kill oh, me. Oh, wait. Let's do introductions. To my left is... What it is, folks? Of the podcast. Marquise. Marquise is here. And to his left is Eli, the one that will die. I, I won't. <laughs> Pass. <laughs> <laughs> and to his left is Steve. What's up, guys? I got in-store credit. Uh, what does that have to do with anything? Ever. I don't... I love I will job. take your credit. I, got I will of, take. Is, are you bribing me I now? Got lots of brownie points with the. JC. I bought the new Daft Punk album. I love this job. How does that say. escape you from death? It's uh, really good. I understand that. I gave life to music. So to my left is Nathan. The scion of hate is very angry today, and we don't know why. Oh, there's a lot of hate. I smashed my fingers. It's that because it's nerf or nothing, and he got nothing. Oh, my easy. Bam. No, I got plenty of nerf, and I'll shoot you with all of it for nothing. Um, he, he hasn't been shot in a couple weeks. Kind of deserves it. I was thinking that. I was like, man, you guys are anything terrible. Why don't we just, 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 just shoot him in the yeah. face? So, <clears throat> all right. Uh, let's just get head. right into it. Marquise, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, so what was I doing? What am I doing this week? Well, what are you doing this week? Well, uh, I was playing Mass Effect 3, of course, because it's Where awesome. And um, I'm at Christmas Academy right now. I've just gotten to Christmas Academy. That's one of my favorite parts. It's pretty good. And Actually, the whole yeah. game is one of my favorite parts. Oh. Um, so, Except for the ending. So, uh, yeah, yeah I'm, uh, we're just getting to go to the rest of the kids, meet up with Jack and stuff. Citadel DLC is the ending we always wanted. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, just not the ending we deserved when the game came out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm Batman. That's the ending we always wanted. I can tell the Swear to me. <laughs> but EA can uh, take it. Yeah. So uh, they'll run. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, Naruto 632 was amazing. Super good. If I'm gonna say if you if you like watching the anime, stop. Just stop. Anime's not as good as the manga. It's not. Anime's way better because it moves. Yeah, huh? Moves with 400 episodes of filler. They don't mean, have, they, meanwhile, they barely have 100 meanwhile, episodes of filler. Meanwhile, <laughs> <laughs> one fourth of the entire series is filler. Psh, that's meanwhile, not so we've, bad. we've we've progressed so far in the story that we've completely left them. It will take at least two seasons to catch up. Yes. To where we are mm-hmm. in the manga right that's now. That's fine. Super good. Yeah. Anyway, I'm glad so. that the manga has gotten so far ahead that gives them time to really plan out how they're gonna how they're gonna fill up those episodes. Anime, so anime. They can, uh, you know. Well, well I mean, that was the like problem. Bleach. They had. They used to have the Bleach problem. Didn't get canceled. It ended. They, they used to have, have the problem arc. of Naruto got caught up to the anime, and then they were forced into a bunch of filler because there was literally nothing for them to animate, and they had to wait. Like it was like three months that they took off from producing. You know what? I, I wouldn't like. Be- Regular I, episodes. I, I wouldn't harp on the on the filler if it most of it wasn't so bad. Most of it isn't bad. Most of it is no. good, and they have no. they, they have like good little Z side filler, stories like, and interesting fits. They have <laughs> actual the drive. let's go drive cars. They have and actual like, interesting fights in the Naruto filler. Like there's some really tricky stuff that happens in the filler. I like Saiyan man. And if you <laughs> yeah, Saiyan man was freaking hilarious. Like I like I like that, but I didn't like you know any of the Naruto filler. This See, I don't this understand that. Dragon I don't understand the Naruto Goku filler hate. It doesn't make sense to me. Because it's... There are good fights. No, there aren't. It's, yes, there are. Usually they're not. Anyway, they're usually not nearly it's, as it's, well it's, animated. It's, 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 it'll be like a two-episode fight. Naruto breaks out a, a Rasengan, and it's over. Yeah. So, it's, Marquise, it's, it's, anyway, it's what else have you been doing? So, uh, <laughs> I've read uh, X-Men number one. How Brian that? Wood, oh my goodness, he is Brian Wood is killing the all chick team of X Men. Super good. <laughs> it is pretty Wait, awesome. But is he literally killing them, or is he just riding X Men? Well? Or it's just X Men. It's just X Men. Oh, yes. I thought it was gonna be X Force, but no, nope, it's just it's just X Men. Okay. Uh, it's it, it's X Men, but it's all girls. It's an yes. entire that doesn't make any female sense. team. Awesome. Oh, dude, it's awesome. Storm leading the team. X-Chicks. Uh, Psylocke's on the team. Shadow Cat, Jubilee, Rogue. I'm like, yeah, I, I can dig this team. This is a pretty good heavy hitter team of X Men. What about Emma Frost? Is she there? No, she's with Cyclops' team. Oh, of course she is. Because she's you know, Cyclops. Yeah, she 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 loves she loves her the Cyclops. So I don't um, know what it is with Cyclops and psychic chicks. 
Because when you cheat on them, they can read your mind. Well, it's, it's been discussed. Well, well, well she, she, she cheated on him, basically, to get him. She, she Neat. invaded his mind, and... Yeah, so that was fun. Um, I remember that's when uh, Jean Grey went all crazy-fied. Yeah, again. Um, so what, what else did I read? I read Captain America number seven. How was that? Eh, wasn't what I wanted. Did it have lots of Captain America ing ing? No, because Captain America he took Bay, he took uh, Armandola's son and raised Armandola's son in Dimension X. Why would you go to Dimension X to raise a kid? Did he like punch a couple of guys? Well, he, he didn't. He baby. didn't. He didn't voluntarily go. He got like sucked in. Oh. And and he and very he, Batman. So yeah. So right now he's like his scraggly beard, and he's raising Armandola's son, and and teaching him how to fight and stuff. He's going and, through time, living over and over again. No, but <laughs> but you know, uh, right, Dark Avengers one ninety, the final issue, uh, Dark Avengers, which is pretty awesome. Um, I I did enjoy this team. Uh, John Walk, uh, U.S. agents back to full potential. Good deal. So that's cool beans. Uh, but he's being he's also being controlled by Toxy Doxy. Um, Doesn't Ra- sound very healthy. Yeah, Ragnarok's got the new Thor hammer, which is pretty awesome. He, well, he's in a, they were in a, a sliver of time, and it was a different version of Mjolnir. So that was cool. Um, what did I read this week? I read X Force number five. And Bishop is back. Oh, I love missing Bishop. Bishop is back, and um, they're dealing with that. Uh, he's being possessed by the demon bear. Be- demon bear. Demon bear. What? Yeah. Death bear. And then uh, uh, Wait, Cluster, what? the female Phantom X, kidnaps uh, Psylocke. Because, hmm. oh, at the end of the, the last X-Force run, uh, Phantom X got split into three people. Oh. There was uh, the Phantom X we know, Cluster, the female Phantom X, and then evil Phantom X. So and it, it was <clears> kind of <throat> like... Um, that Adam Warlock guy. They split his. Basically, what happened was he had multi brains and he split the brains. It's very odd. Well, Adam Warlock, that was a little different because with Adam Warlock, he actually split himself into different. Yeah, he goes well, evil. Yeah, was, you had the Magus and then you had Adam Warlock and then eventually and that he, one chick that was his good side. I remember that. Yeah. Because so, he became God. Yeah. yeah. The then 90s. He, then the he 90s. Then he was reborn. Then he was reborn. Then he was reborn. And then he was reborn. Yeah. And then the 90s were over, and good writing came back. <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy, yeah! yeah okay. Yeah. Um, what I, wa- I watched, uh, I didn't watch much this week. Uh, I watched a lot of Netflix this week. Uh, I watched Maximum Convention- Conviction with uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin and uh, Steve <laughs> uh, <laughs> I call that a bathroom uh, movie, because I watch it while I poo. <laughs> <laughs> or now, does it make you now, poo? Now, 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 Both. <laughs> here was the, it wasn't a bad flick. Steven Seagal made it a horrible flick. Because yes. all he did, literally, <laughs> he, he, went, he went and, and he slapped hands with people. And that's all he did. That's a martial art, you know. Yeah, slap hands. Physically. You know, alright. I want to say, I've actually taken Aikido, and it's cool, but you do eventually leave your feet. You do move more than just standing there going, oh, do, 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 He's gotten a Steven Seagal girl fights. Well, yeah, you know what? Much. Well, you know what? Now he's got to lose. He's got to lose weight because he's in the Spinals three. So, so good. Uh, if he lost the weight, it would just mean he cut his head off. Because, because oh. you, you know, <laughs> you know, oh. you know, Stallone. Stallone's all about perfection when it comes to Expendables. Dude, the Expendables are some good food. Wesley Snipes is signed off for three. No way. <laughs> and they're trying to get Jackie Chan. <gasps> Holy crap! I know. I mean, the second <gasps> one was fun. <laughs> It was really the fun. The first one was fun. I mean, these it's just basically like, let's see how many old, like, 80s and early 90s action heroes we can throw into one film. And Dude, just, like, the explosions, gunfights. The second one made it for one one purpose. Chuck Norris. Chuck. And he was awesome. His, his, his whole he intro. He looks so weird now, though. Because like, he's old. Yeah. But, but he doesn't still, look old. But he's still, he's still, like, really well, like, he's still fit. Because, he's had a lot of <laughs> because the surgery. total gym... And the both things. Yeah, exactly. The total gym. Chuck Norris total gym. He gets on that thing. Uh, and then Wesley Snipes. I have Wesley a total Snipes. gym. And so, Chrissy Brinkley. I don't look so like So Blade Chuck is Norris. in the movie. Yeah, Blade's in the movie. <laughs> They're going to be vampires too. <laughs> you actually look like the antithesis of Chuck Norris because yeah. you look like a big baby. Aww. And that's what I was doing today, basically. <laughs> Just lots of Netflix and... Uh... So, Eli, what you been doing? What are you doing? God. <laughs> okay, so uh, <clears throat> I've been playing some random stuff. I picked up Little Inferno as part of the Humble Indie Bundle 8, 
and I spent a solid five hours with that game, uh, getting 100% in it. And what are you doing with that? Uh, I'm going to do a once-over. Uh, cool. Actually, it's going to cool, be cool. more like a, a separate series where it's going to be, what did I just watch? Uh, and I'm going to play weird games that are that are interesting <laughs> in some way. Um, you know, you should follow up Little Inferno with Dante's Inferno. No, that's not that's a weird okay. game. That's, that's okay. just a bad game. It's not. Uh, it's you're not confusing bad. It's just... the concept of the show here. I'm gonna play weird games that are good in some way. Dante's Inferno would be just like, why did I play that game? Not what did I just watch. That's just a mediocre game that didn't need to happen. Yeah. But their EA wanted to cash in on God, God, of, God of War. War so yeah. Yeah, um, I'm so glad I'm amongst with, amongst people <laughs> that hate that game just as much as I do. I don't hate it. I just pity it for existing. Yeah. <laughs> It had some good visual Shit, effects, shot, some good face. ideas. It had some cool ideas, yes. It had some interesting, like, level but layouts and, having and the way that you... Having have actually read the, uh, um, the poem... Then, the yeah, scenario, you would like, be... But I did watch the whole game as a movie, and I watched the movie about the game off of Netflix. Did you? It was actually more entertaining I didn't, than playing the game. I didn't care for that much either. I watched a little I, bit of it. I didn't like how they broke it up into several segments with the, the yeah. animation teams so they could push it out faster. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, well, that's a popular thing to do. But. Yeah, EA does it. You know, the 343 did that with uh, Halo Legends. But that was well done. That was well done. It was, it was an anthology, I get it, but I really just wanted an hour Gotham and Knight, amazing. That was I... Uh, I need to go watch it again. You need to... Yeah, I'll you say, need I'll just say that. Gotham Knight wasn't bad. I bought it. I was disappointed because I was expecting a whole movie, but then oh. they've made it up to me with all the whole movies oh, yeah. they made. They've been that were amazing. amazing. Yeah, I still need to see the uh, the new Superman movie. Well, uh, it's not out yet. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it hits shelves. It looks. Oh, good. oh, you're talking about the animated one? Yeah, the I was like, Man of Steel ain't out yet. Yeah, no, Man of Steel's not out yet. Uh, what is it? Unbound. Or unbound. Or? Unbound. Yeah, Superman it looks Unbound. Good. Yes, um, it looks very good. It's what. We'll have to pick it up. So Superman burned... Returns should have been that. I burned a lot of stuff in five hours in Little Inferno. Uh, that game is a lot of fun, and it's really things? addicting. Yeah, you just burn things in a fireplace. Um, it's it's awesome. It's it's weird. And I look awesome. forward to the video. Yeah, it's it's really weird. Um, but uh, I did that, and I played some more Injustice. I still love that game. It's a lot of fun. Have they revealed who's going to be the next uh, DLC? Character? I don't think so yet, uh, but most likely it will be. Uh, Zod. It will be Zod, most likely. It's Animal and Man. And then Scorpion. It's Animal Man. It, if uh, it was Animal Man, that would be amazing. They did sh They did say that they're going to have a Blackest Night uh, DLC pack, so there's going to be Blackest Night skins for a lot of the characters. <laughs> Maybe all the characters. Does that mean they'll, they'll eventually bring out a Brightest Day? Maybe. I mean, they Cause could. Because Superman looks amazing. I would love more characters, to tell you the truth. Huh? I'm I'm fine with the characters that are in it, I would and agree. there's going to be another. In, there's going to be an, there's there's got to be another one. They're going to do another one. I don't think they're going to do another. Game. It's been doing so well, and people. It's been really popular for tournaments. I actually got to watch a couple really awesome tournaments over the weekend, and it Ooh. was a lot of fun. I think uh, they're going to do four. I think I think that's they'll be four and done because I really they're going to move on to another game. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I would. Mortal Kombat was good, but the that's all that we'll see in this game. Yeah, is four characters. Absolutely. <sighs> that's what I'm saying. And yeah. then they'll do. There skins. might be a, there might be another character outside the season pass that they haven't talked about yet. Mm -hmm. I could see them doing something like that. I righteously don't care about Scorpion. Uh, in, I, in I don't either. Of, in the face of injustice, I would rather have a real superhero than yeah. just a character. Uh, Absolutely. A horse that's been beat to death. So. I really hope that that part of the room list I will list I will is not Black true. Lightning. I don't know why. Black Lightning. Mm. That could be all right. He, he, he would play like Raiden, I think. Um, actually, watched... that would be cool. Actually, I, I think you know who would be really sweet. Um, who's uh, be Static Shock? I like knew. Static. Because then you could fly around <laughs> on the garbage, the uh, the freaking manhole cover, and yeah. like, shoot lightning at people. That'd be amazing. Hey, what's up? I'm cool because he's maybe and a then, little and then, too you, and then you can get the little the, the WV song, the superhero. Maybe a little shot. too whoop, whoop. obscure, and then you'd get just, canceled just because the license just like the smallest up. amount of obscurity. Uh, it, um, I felt it was no, I won't say it. But I Actually, watched Red Robin would be good. I watched the first two episodes that. of the new season of Arrested Development so I, far. I've heard a lot of people don't like it, and I'm not enjoying it so far. Mm. Maybe it gets better, but these first two episodes, not everything good. has just felt completely forced. It seems odd, and the way that they're approaching the storyline seems odd, um, and like everything has just felt kind of stilted and. 
Okay. Almost awkward. Like, uh, how many years has it been? Has it been? Uh, like five? Yeah, a friend six? of a friend of mine. It takes said, a while to get the wheels going. It's like riding well, a bike, you know. They've had well, five maybe years to so. The wheels, but, but a, a friend of mine said he didn't like it either. I've only watched the first two episodes, though. I've still got thirteen more to go. I mean, um, it'd be kind of like if they restarted Firefly without Wash. I would be like, what? I can't watch this. Well, all the characters are here. But they all have the characters to. are here. But it's it's no, been. <laughs> it's been really weird. Like the first episode, someone could wake up and it could be a dream. The first episode kind of focused on Shh. on Michael, and Serenity. then the second episode f- kind of focused on George Senior, and so I think they're going to maybe go through the list of characters with all these episodes, and then maybe eventually get. I don't. It just seems <clears throat> weird. Well, so you think they're going to be doing a what have you been doing for each of the characters, and then like grease let that grease the wheels for the, I the season? I think so. Maybe. Uh, be like, back at the ranch. And I also saw a rumor that they may be in the works for a movie now, too. I heard the movie, like, ever since the TV show thing started going. Before that, actually, they've been talking about it. Yeah. Movie. Well, now so, they might be actually serious about it, though. Right. Um, but, uh... Six Probably seasons wouldn't. in the movie, man. Six seasons in the movie. Yeah. Well, it's only that been, will never happen. This is, this is the fourth Sorry. season or fifth season? It happened for Community. This is the fourth season. I think so. That's what I thought. And, uh, I watched <laughs> that... It's gonna happen for The Cape. Yeah. Uh, fi- I finished up the third season and then went right into the fourth season, and just the difference between Feels the two strange. is really is there a really time weird. skip to explain why they there all is over? a time skip? Yeah, there is a little bit of a time skip, and the stuff that happens in between that time skip is just kind of weird. Weird, like why, why go in this direction? Like. I, I don't know. It's I, I'm gonna give it its full course and I think watch one, all of them. One of the only shows that's ever done a, a time skip well, I think, was Injustice. They did a five, that five year time jump and explain what, how everything went down between first and second season. Yeah, it was really good. A what show? Injustice. Justice. Young Justice. Young, Young Justice. Justice. Excuse me. That's uh, why I was like, uh, yeah, okay. okay. I thought you just mumbled. Oh man, mumbled oh, it's what? been a long week. It's been a long week. Leave me alone. Young I, Justice. I, Young okay. Justice was good, that's but. Uh, I mean that's that's basically what I've been doing. I've been a little bit busy running around, hanging out with with uh, family and stuff this week. So Memorial Day. All right. That's what I've been doing. Steve, what have you been doing? Tell us. <laughs> I haven't been doing a whole lot actually. Uh, I read the new Naruto and the new Bleach because they were good. Uh, yep. I'm glad Bleach is coming to a close. The Brotherhood of Manga. Mm. I actually uh, finished up it. reading up to 44 or something like that on a Attack on Titan, which if you haven't checked that out, you still should, because it's way good. It's actually got a really good story, and unlike most manga that I can actually follow, <laughs> <coughs> where I don't, I don't sit there going, why are the characters doing this? I don't understand. It's well translated, so. Yeah. Um... Let's see. Um, I haven't had much time. I've played one game of League of Legends this week <laughs> on Arma. I played a little Dota this week. I didn't like Dota. I like Dota better. Yeah, I'm, I'm, waiting I'm familiar for, with I'm the wa- characters. I'm waiting for Infinite Crisis to come out. I'm interested to play that. I really want to play Marvel it. Heroes comes out this Friday. Really? Yeah, tomorrow. I have the, yeah, I have that, is I have game? that down. I have that. It's the Marvel or uh, MMO Diablo. Oh, Marvel Diablo. Hmm. I might play that. And you know what? I bet you it plays a lot better than Diablo 3 does. I really That's not hard it. to do because Diablo 3 was lame. It plays well, though. Diablo 3 does play well, but it was not what I was expecting because I was expecting something better for, like, what, 13 years? 13 years of, I'm so tired of this. I get to the Flare Jungle and I quit, but I like my Druid. And then I get to, you know, Diablo 3 and you're like, what's this? This... This sucks. <laughs> the, story, hey, uh, the story's bad. We heard you like the desert, so we're going to keep you in the desert for a long time. Yeah, you're in time. the desert way too long in that long game. A long time. That, because that, deserts that are That second easy. act is just... The story, no. needs, the story needs some help. It's like, oh, I bet... I you're like, in the second act the I saw it, 50% of that game. I was game. like, um, I'm guessing that I'm a Nephilim. For so- somehow I'm a Nephilim. Doesn't explain how. And now i got to do all this. I was like, Tyrael? Pfft. <laughs> Material. 
I would have just rather been able to make a paladin. Can you can you take Tyrael out and give me a paladin class? Well, no. There's still the expansion. No. No. So nope. hey, I, I I like I don't like the witch doctor. I don't like I raining, love the witch doctor. I don't like raining frogs and throwing jars of spiders. It gave me a couple good laughs, and I was like, you know what? I wish this was a necromancer. It's exactly. all about the zombie bears. I want the, but you have the to be necromancer. Level Fifty-five to shoot torrents of zombie bears. Yeah. There's actually a and lot. You want a, and you get a necromancer. And you get a necromancer. I want. There's still the expansion. I want my druid. And I want my paladin. Blizzard just took a bunch of people. They took like 70 people off Titan because they're making a smaller team to like Titan? rebuild Titan. What is their that? next MMO? No. They just took a, their next they, magic bullet. That they just took to. 70 people off that and they're revamping Titan. Like they're basically starting from scratch on it. I hope and so. And th they're putting those 70 people. Back on like Blizzard on uh, World of Warcraft's next expansion, putting yeah. a couple of them on Another Hearthstone. One? It, well, yeah, its next expansion is mostly yeah. a and graphic update. Yeah, it's going to be mostly a graphic update. So if you want to pay 40, 40 bucks for a graphic overhaul that should have happened, there's going to be a whole new years. area. It'll be a full expansion plus <clears throat> graphic update. Uh. But but then they're also putting those people on the next StarCraft game, and they're putting them on That's the, only game the I've ever Diablo to play Starcraft. expansion. Star so I mean, StarCraft Three. We'll see more about the Legacy of the Void. Is the only StarCraft Two. StarCraft Two Legacy of Void is the only part of StarCraft Two I was interested in before I played the other two. Anyway, so aside from that. playing that one game of League and actually like crushing the other team, <coughs> which was pretty pretty awesome. It was Mala. <laughs> Oh, yeah, dude. I, I, it's I, uh, always good to get in a role group. Well, uh, Arma gives you randomly assorted heroes, and mm -hmm. I actually got one that I knew how to use. I got a uh, Wukong, who is uh, he's a pretty tanky uh, melee scrapper, bruiser. Oh, are you, you're playing all, all random Arma middle Ar attack? Arma is one lane, two towers on each side with one inhibitor, and then you've got your nexus with two towers. And they, okay. they randomly assort both teams' heroes. Yeah. And you can trade amongst your team. And I got Wukong, and I know how to play him, and I was just racking up kills like it was nobody's business, and it was pretty sweet. That's the only game I've played this week. The rest of my week has been spent on packing. Uh, <laughs> packing so I can move this, this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I know how bad that is. It's awful. It is but the worst. At the same time, so basically what it was is I'd get home from work, Stace would come over, she'd help me keep me on track so I'd stay away from my computer and I would load things into boxes or into bags to be thrown away. It took us Shut a month to move the last time that we moved and it was the month from hell. I've I, never had a worse month in my entire life. Fun thing, they only moved from like the bottom of the hill. We moved 30 feet, basically. The bottom of the hill, you know, when you first come to my area. To the top of the hill? To the top of the hill. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm moving over to another side of town and it's. It, I actually realized that I don't have really that much and I threw out a whole bunch of I threw out probably about uh, if I to total all up all the money I spent on these 3.5 books that I'll never use again it was probably like uh, 600 bucks but then I realized oh, I can just get them all on PDF if I ever want to play 3.5 for some reason so well is Pathfinder kind of Pathfinder's better yeah but yeah. I kept uh, I kept a few really old books I kept uh my old Advanced Dungeons and Dragons core book, uh, Beast Monsters Manual. I kept some really old books that aren't in print, like my Ranger's Guide, my Fighter's Guide, just just for some nostalgia's sake. It was the first book game, the first tabletop game I ever played. I kept uh, <coughs> a really obscure game from White Wolf back in the uh, the mid '90s called uh, oh, what was it? It was uh, basically it's in the future, and you're playing a bunch of psychics. Like all your characters are different types of psychics. It was like really. Pretty sweet. Was uh, it Psychic it was Force? Called, it was called Aeon. Oh wait, that was Aeon a really Trinity. good PS One game. Yes, that was awful. <laughs> I, like, I have it for the. Wasn't as good as Psychonauts. Psychonauts. Psyops. Yeah. Psyops. 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 The Mind Gate Conspiracy. Aeon, Tr Aeon Trinity was pretty good, and it was like pretty rad. So I just I kept the, I kept just kept all the nostalgia stuff, like all my old Werewolf the Apocalypse books. Like I've had those for years, and no one ever wanted to play. But Acropolis. <laughs> Cause I, yeah. Anyway, so I missed cleaning everything else out. I packed up all my DVDs, and I was like, I, I have a, a stack in the box that has duct tape around it. Basically, says watch this first because it's all my old like Schwarzenegger action films with like Predator <laughs> on the top. And I was I, like, I, I was like, and then there's another stack that's all my Marvel cartoon shows. So, <laughs> yay! Doctor Strange. Movie sucks. Movie. Did you um? 
Let's see. Did you get a game of Pathfinder in this week? I know there there was one up in the air. <sighs> we, uh, after packing most of Monday, we made characters and played for a few hours on Monday, and that's it. I didn't go to Wednesday because I don't think anybody I went was to Wednesday. Packing. Um, I just don't want to do any more swords and sorcery. I'm I'm, I'm just, done with it. I'm so bogged down lately. It's yeah. like it's everything I can do to try to get uh, everything off the ground. Like I'm still writing things up for for mutants and masterminds. Whenever that'll start. But if I get into this new schedule that I'm on, it'll give me a lot more versatility in the evenings. I'll get home at four as opposed to seven. You know, yeah. yeah. I can go to bed at ten thirty as opposed to nine, which would be great. But basically, yeah, all I've been doing this week is move, moving, packing for moving, and I played one game. Nathan, <laughs> what have you been doing? Well, let's see. I got some uh, Call of Duty Black Ops Two in. Um, it's actually, it's fun. I <gasps> wait, wait, wait. Ha, 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 ha. It's, it's probably one of the better uh, single-player experiences for Call of Duty I've had. For Call of Duty, he says. For Call of Duty. But, I mean, you know, it feels a little generic at times, but because the graphics are great, and <laughs> uh, yeah. the 3D is amazing. Um, the we, 3D really, really hurt my eyes. You are not ready for video game 3D It re yet. No, like, other stuff has not bothered me, but that, for some reason... Like, after I stopped watching that in 3D with you guys the other night, my eyes were just killing me. He's like, the, the whole DS, rest man. of the night. It, they were just murdering me. Um, let's see, it did that. I don't know what it was. Uh, I think maybe it was the gun being it was there. Probably, and just always maybe being the fact, it was probably the gun. It was yeah. probably the fact that you were staring at 3D that was bigger than, I don't know, 4x4. Four four. No, because no, other stuff that I've watched over here at Nathan's has not bothered my eyes at all. The movies don't, and the... Um, what what, was what, what Batman, was the other game we played in 3D? Batman and Gears of War 3. Yeah, those didn't bother and me. And Halo yep. uh, Anniversary Edition. Yeah, well, none of those Halo bothered 4. me. I wish they put Halo 4 in freaking 3D, but whatever. Yeah, you know. know. Man, that would be so trippy with all the lasers and red. I know. Uh, I had, uh, I had a uh, SR57, 58 mm. this, this week. No, last week. I was over Justin's for like a little bit, and we played some... Uh, I got... I'll have to show you the video if, if, next time we're over at Justin's, but it's Stace is driving the Warthog, and I'm on the back. It's a Gauzhog. And she ramps it over this part in Ragnarok, and then she hits the ditch, and it, it pops up on its back wheels, and she guns the engine, and it spins around like a dolphin at SeaWorld. <laughs> and then she puts it back, and it lands back on its, its wheels, and we keep going. And it's like <laughs> the most amazing thing ever that I'll never duplicate, but we're... We were 100 points down on that match, and we single-handedly, like, won by 100 points because we're just blowing people to bits left and right, <laughs> taking out tanks and stuff. It was the most beautiful thing ever. You'll have... Uh, I'll see if I can get the replay up. Um, yeah, we, need, just, we, we need to put we'll it on YouTube. We'll have to trade Warthog yeah. replays. Oh, it's hilarious. You remember that one crazy one that I showed you? Where I just, like, went through with a regular Warthog? At the, on, on that same map, actually. Yeah, yeah. No, that, you showed me that like two weeks ago. Was it was it the last time ago? we played Halo, I think. It, yeah, it was like three weeks ago. Yeah, I was trying to remember. I was like, it went up like go. this, and then it went like this, and like that. And, then it went, <laughs> what? That, and we were like, Stacey and I were like, holy crap. Justin was like sitting there, you know, and he's like, I've never seen that happen before. I was like, Earlier in the match, I was on a I was on a, a mongoose and I did like a corkscrew off this thing and like took a dude out with them. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's that'll never happen again. I, I like Thanks. the uh, non-descriptive hand gestures for the people listening. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for that, Steve. I said uh, like a dolphin. Like and a dolphin and see what. No, the second good. time you're like. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> so, All right. What else have you been doing? Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean. Anyways, to do back to me. <laughs> Would we want to talk I know, you just wasted like three minutes of my time. <laughs> but it was, it was a great Anyways, story. so um, I, I, do want, I do want to see the video, so don't get me wrong, I do we'll, want to see the video. We'll, we'll get you that video. Um, let's see, I played a little bit of Halo 4, uh, played some Champions Online, I rage quit it for a bit because... It's awful. It's not awful, it's... <laughs> the Alright, 
if I'm trying to it's join my friends to play the game or to, to play like a mission, yeah, have fun with that. It's telling me to go way over there. And I hate like, that so much. It's like the mission's on the other side of the city. You're like, but they're standing right here. <laughs> I know. I'm like, this is broken. I don't understand. And then we they say, okay, well, we'll make you the leader, and you can pick a mission. So I pick like the first available mission that's not like super low. And what happens? I die within a second because my team's nowhere to be found. They're like, <laughs> we're right there. I'm like, I don't. I'm done. It's, it's kind of like. Kind I wasted like, like an hour and a half doing DC that. DC Universe Online. Yeah, but I hate it's, giving SOE any attention whatsoever. So but it's I, not like you're paying you're you're I taking don't care. money away I don't from care. them by pl by I playing that game because care. it's costing them extra money to make I, sure I that you can be there. I also don't want to play in the DC Universe at all. Why? Why? It's so good. Why? I don't, I don't. It's so good. That, that's a whole. That's a long conversation. I'll get. Let me let me get back to this and just to play Green Lantern seriously. Bam. Hey, you can have a ring power. Yeah, did that. You gotta the buy the expansion for that then. Lay Aww. You gotta hey, pay for the expansion to have ring power. Never, I haven't really had anything bad with SOE. EverQuest. EverQuest is amazing. Yeah. Okay. It was the so... record setting of the genre, man. <laughs> it wasn't a bad game. It just nothing beat it until WoW came out. Yep. Yeah, I didn't. WoW was the magic bullet that killed EverQuest. I, mm -hmm. nah. Uh, I, I, but it's not dead. It's still living. It's, it's like still oh, it's still like play. it's like hobbling along with like a hundred thousand people or something. And they're all paying the fifteen dollars a month to play because they yeah. love it. They love it because it's reason, good. It's same reason why people play World of Warcraft. It might not be the greatest game, but they love it. So nice. I they love, love it. it. I love World of Warcraft. Loves the grind. Let's see, after uh, I hated on champs for a bit. Um, let's see, Fuse came and it was Finally. two days late, uh -huh. and I haven't played any. Thanks of it. a lot, Memorial Day. Amazon, uh, I really appreciate the soldiers. Could have shipped it like early, like Netflix does. Netflix will send you something so it gets there early. Mm -hmm. No, not for no. Yeah, no, they can't. Well, can't I mean, it, they probably only had it sitting in their warehouse <clears throat> for two or three weeks. So and I mean, like, you know what? Oh, it, it <laughs> I bet sat, that Nathan guy would love to have this game. It sat in Pennsylvania for an entire day. Like, literally. Like, 24 hours. And then they shipped it back out. I was like, oh. They probably, like, cracked it open, was playing it, and were like, man, this game's pretty sweet. And they were like, oh, we better shrink wrap it's gotta go to West Virginia, let's shrink wrap this back up. Yeah, the, the amount of rage I've had over that has been... It's been sad. Um, it ruined our whole Time Rush Tuesday. It really, it really did. You know, it, it, Time Rush really Tuesday did. was boring this week. Oh yeah. my goodness, I was sick the Time Rush Tuesday. Ironically, we were playing extreme sports. It was not extreme. <laughs> it was not extreme. Um, the that word, was the other thing we the did. The word does not I define the actual game. Yeah. No. Uh, let's see, then I watched a ton it of movies. It had a couple of moments that were pretty good. Movies? Movies, because it was my turn for the Netflix Gym of the so Week. So what did you watch? I watched a lot of movies. Um, I watched... Wonder Boy, you guys, or no. Boy Wonder, Boy Wonder. Has anyone watched that? I watched yeah. it at NYCC two years ago. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a different kind of movie. It's a superhero movie where he's not a superhero. He's just kind of a nutso kid that tries to be like a vigilante, and the ending has a little bit of a twist to it. Um, it's worth watching, um, but you know it's not my recommendation for this week. Then I watched uh, Struck by Lightning. Uh, no one, there's no famous people in. Boy Wonder, that's why I didn't mention anyone. Uh, Struck by Lightning, it's a Chris Colfer. He's on Glee. I forget his character's name. Mm -hmm. But he's the um, the very gay one. I mean, that's, you know, I hate being that guy, but it, it's kind of his thing for this. He's it's got the, the, he's got the, the show. He's got the kind of high pitched voice, you know, yeah. and but he tries to butch it up a little bit more for this. Was he struck by lightning? Yeah, in the very beginning, and he died. Oh. And then oh. it talks about, like, the weeks building up to that moment. And then what happens after that moment? Is it worth watching? It was okay. It's a. I'm not gonna say it's a coming of age tale because the guy dies, but it, it was a depressing drama. It's like a hey, you could die any second. Yeah. Here's what this guy did for two weeks before he died. Pretty much, but Lame. the characters, or I should say, the actors and actresses in this game, a gay game, in this movie are all people that you've seen do other things, like Angela from The Office, um, playing a totally different role. Yeah. Uh, well, She's drastically yeah. different from her character. Well, it's like, nice for people to yeah. It's weird. Well, the it's Chris, weird seeing her in other stuff. Chris Colfer really was completely different from what he does on Glee yeah. every day or every week or whatever. Um, who else? Uh, I'm trying to remember. There, um, the girl from Mad Men, uh, Christina Hendricks. Okay. She was in it. Um, Which one is that? The redhead. 
Oh, yeah. The one from, uh... <laughs> yeah, she was in Firefly. She was on Drive. I have, uh, you know, I'm glad with the hand gestures that the people that are listening could not see. What? I said nothing. Anyway. Said nothing. Said nothing. The misogyny of this place is ridiculous. Um... Be <laughs> I didn't say anything. Should be ashamed. You know, no one at home would know if anyway, you just shut up. Jeez, you just Steve. Gotta Google. Just yeah. gotta Google that stuff, and you're like, oh, oh yeah. I know exactly what he was doing. Oh yeah. But uh, let's see. You watch that. Um, <laughs> I, I watch. Well, what? Well, right. did, did any of you watch my recommendation from last week? What? Low? Anybody? I haven't watched it yet. I didn't no. get to watch that. I was looking I was for something. I catching up on Arrested Development. I was looking for something to have for this <laughs> you were week. looking for something. I even like... put that one in my queue, and I didn't get a chance to... Yeah, rest... You were like Arrested Development. Yeah. Let's watch something better. <laughs> what else did you watch? Um, Wasted on the Youth. Uh, it's an Australian... I don't want to say it's a thriller, but they try to make it a thriller. It's uh-huh. a high school movie. It's dark, um, very dark. Basically, high school. This high school is like Malibu or something like that. Uh-huh. You know, for us, uh, the kids are all good looking, and most of them are. Uh, everyone's rich. They're all jacked and tan. Yes, they go surfing all the time. Um, you know, because they live right on the on beach. On the beach. Yeah. Uh, this, the a lot of the plot takes place. Sheesh. In a house that's similar to Tony Stark's in Iron Man, the series. Does it actually um, have... So it's like the floor opens up and there's robots underneath? No, but it's very... It's a high-tech kind of they house. They have artificial intelligence butlers? I would love to have them. Almost. Them because, I mean, it's not that cool. Like, they have glass laboratories in the back? Well, the, the guy does so they have a robot uh, robotics. That, that does with the... Actually, yeah, there is. Do pieces of a robot suit fly at them? No, but someone is raped... And then, um... That's they, way darker than Iron Man 3. <laughs> the, her body is left on the shore, but she didn't die. She was experiencing a drug overdose, and she had been raped. And she had been drugged. And she'd been eaten by a shark and just coughed her this back up. This is a horrible turn of events. Yes. Yeah, can, you um, pass, can, we, like, can we move on? That that's depressing. I watched the whole that. thing. Okay, you shouldn't have done that. Many people died. It ended with like a guy taking uh, his friend hostage or his his uh, stepbrother hostage. That's a bad friend. And this does not sound like a quality film. No. Someone he he made a um, thing. It was a gun, like controlled by mechanical arm kind of thing, more or less, a device. Hmm. And people could text it and say... He texted everyone else in the party and said, you can stop this. And they had to, like, vote to not shoot him. And then the gun would turn and shoot on the stepbrother that set it all up, who's basically, like, the main person that is... He's the protagonist. And this is the, not a quality film. I'll just tell you, the movie ends. Uh, they were both on the swim team. It shows the... Uh, protagonist swimming in the pool because the other one's dead so anyways oh yeah and someone kills themselves yeah it's the girl that got raped that better not it be your sounds... netflix gem of the week no it, it that was pretty uh that was not that's sounds... a netflix turd of the week <laughs> it sounds it like really well done though really well really done really well done or not dude well, yeah, you, can't, hmm. you can't polish a turd do you know all right they here, tried it with the dark knight rises it, it did didn't not work, work out do you know who the, um, uh, or you won't know, but if you remember, uh, who here has seen What's that movie? Chronicle? Seen it. Okay. Of it, Narnia? No. Chronicle. The <laughs> awesome, the awesome He's superhero. The, house. the awesome superhero film that's not a superhero film? Yep. You've seen it, right? Yeah, Tumnus. The film, that, okay. the film that I would have loved to see in Mr. the place Tumnus. of Superman. Exactly. The, uh, it's like, Superman Returns should have been just called Chronicle Returns. And oh, it's better. Aslan! The, the kid that survived, uh-huh. that went to go to Tibet or whatever, <laughs> he, <laughs> he was the antagonist of the film. Hmm. This film I just watched. Because he's Australian, so he's Let's like, Oi, mate, oh, yeah, well, right, right. And it had the girl from um, the Silent Hill, last Silent Hill movie, the blonde chick. I heard the last Silent Hill movie was not good. No, it's probably I've heard none of the Silent Hill movies are good. The, the first, first one was good. It was actually, yeah, it was, it was I, I mean, it's a crazy horror film, but um, it, like nutso. It, if I was directing a movie, if I was given the ability to, and it was a video game movie, I, it would be very much like that, because they had the, they had, they were literally had the game played on set so that they could keep close to the source material, and they did pretty good. Pyramid Head was freaky, dude. Freaky creepy. 
And then free. I have a pyramid head keychain. <sighs> Good for you. This is more. He picks a woman up, rips her Still dress up. off. So he rips the yeah, first the dress, and then he just goes like this and grabs like her belly. Like he puts his hand on her belly and just tears, I don't skin off. tears all that. the flesh yeah. off. It's I'm not saying you should. It's she, a, thank you. It, she becomes it, super, it, super meat boy. <laughs> It's, no, thank you. It's a good movie. It, ta it takes the premise of a really janky story. I don't remember that ever happening in the game. <laughs> See, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. The Japanese, we all know that they are awful writing stories that appeal to Westerners because or they the are, rest of the world. True. That's why they're suffering in the game market. But they're yes. awful. So they took something with a jittery, hard to understand story and they pieced it together in an hour and a quarter and it was not bad. Yeah. The second one I heard. Well, while looking good, was not exactly amazing. Right, I don't think it's the same team or anything nope, else. They did get they got Sean Bean to come back. But Sean Bean. I don't, I don't know to what you know. Extent. Sean Bean. Um, I I don't know. Well, uh, if if I, I if I. <laughs> Uh, let's, let's, let's move past. It's, it's depressing. What's, what we got? Uh, next the segment. next thing will be. Well, no, I just. Uh, oh. It's time for the Netflix Gym of the Week. What is yep. the Netflix Gym um, of the Week? We've been kind of building towards that. I watched a lot of movies. Oh, I also watched Fast Six, which is really good. Watch, I need to go see that too. Watch a Marquise review I haven't on. Seen Fast Five. It's going to be on the website what? tonight. It's I on YouTube. Any of them, so. um, Does anybody have Fast Five that I can watch? I have Fast Five. Um, you need watch. to watch all of them. I watched the first one and was like, car movies. Why? No, really. I'm not impressed. Just, just watch two, um, then don't watch three until after you watch six. Is that what? the way the timeline goes? Yes. Lame. So. Huh? Anyway. Three doesn't. Tokyo Drift doesn't happen until after all the other movies happen. That's not true because they referenced them doing mm -hmm. some crazy stuff in Tokyo. No. Mm -hmm. no. no. Or is that before he goes? Before they, go, that's before he that's goes. what like that his Tokyo him, experiences. Were them mentioning that. that in Fast and Furious, yeah, causes him to say, "Oh, maybe I should go check out what they're doing in Tokyo." Yeah, then guess what? Okay, he doesn't go to Tokyo yet. He doesn't go until after six. Well, he goes. We're gonna get into a little bit of spoiler territory, but he goes at the end of six. We're not gonna say oh, why. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right. Anyway, yeah, don't anyway, say so why. But gem yeah. of the week. Yeah. Okay. All, All right. right, gem Netflix gem of the week is. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's the name of it? Uh, Turd Furgler. Indie game, the movie. Indie game, the movie. Yes, I love the indie game, the movie. Never saw it. It was so good. It was so good. Um, Sell it to me. Okay, you've heard of Super Meat Boy? Yes. Okay, have you heard of uh, Braid? No. What? Oh my! Oh! Nathan just bit his tongue off. Oh! <laughs> Next There's second. blood everywhere. Seriously, you haven't heard of Braid? It's one of the highest, Have highest rated Xbox Jonathan Live Blow? games ever. Do you know Wait, who what? Jonathan Blow is? It's one of the highest rated Xbox game li or Xbox okay, okay. Live arcade you games said ever. Three words: Xbox Live. I, He's PlayStation. I'm a PlayStation Three guy. I know, but like, I think it did come to PlayStation. I think it did come to PlayStation. It's I, definitely eventually. on PC. I very yeah, it's rarely, on PC also. I will check it out then. Braid is an amazing game. No, it came out like five years ago, and they talk about Braid. They talk about Super Meat Boy, and they talk about Fez. Yeah. Hmm. Um, what they're doing is they're capturing like probably I'd say a period of just what a few weeks. I no, mean, they're, I mean, like a, they're couple, a couple months. Yeah, couple they're months. capturing a pretty long span of time, like, throughout the development of all three of those I games. Think, well, they weren't well, involved. Not, not Braid the, was done. Yeah, Braid was done, Super, and they were getting, like, reactions to Braid. Super Meat Boy was almost done, and then Fez was supposed to be done, but it wasn't. Yeah. So, you know, they have, you know, games in these different stages, and they talk to the creators. Um, what's the guy's name? Phil Fish. I don't want to be that guy, ever. He's a guy that basically made... Fez, but pretty much by himself. Pretty much by until himself the, until close to the end. Because people kept well, people kept abandoning him or quitting on yeah. him. It's probably because his personality was terrible. I, his because personality he's, is he's very, really bad. He's very abrasive. I mean, yeah. we're talking like you know, just like she's graded to the forearm abrasive. Yeah, it just vulgarity like, out the like -ha. film school hipster yeah. abrasive yeah. oh he, super, okay super i would have punched hipster. him in his super hipster face he's an angry hipster yeah <clears throat> you couldn't deal with him you would probably take two bricks and kill him but <laughs> you're like i would do that 
That's pretty accurate. But it's n- it's uh, such I, a. I carry a knife for hipsters. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Does it have a mustache on the blade so oh, you can put it up should. like that? It be so awesome. Do the little mustache thing. I, I, I do this while I stab people with my mustache finger. I'm like. <laughs> I should, get the, I should get the traitor mustache from Fable so I can twist the end and be like, yeah, uh, uh. I'd actually be okay with that. On a side note, it should be noted that the Timeless Brain Trust does not endorse the killing of hipsters. But what they do in their own personal time is their own business. So. I don't know. I, I would endorse it. Stomp <laughs> it. Stomp no. it. I don't want to get I'll sued. Never, <laughs> we'll never Stomp get another sponsor. <laughs> Wait, sponsors? Oh, sponsors? Yeah, he, he killed the last one. It was hipster. Uh, you probably uh, never hipster heard of it. t-shirts. See, yeah, we got like, it for like five minutes. He's like, hipster, it's murder. Hipster, hipster t-shirts? No one's ever heard of them. <laughs> wow. Yeah! So it's it's a great... Um, it's an amazing movie. It's really good to I'll see to what goes it. on behind all that stuff. Yeah, it, the behind the scenes, you're watching the struggles, the trials and tribulations. You know, this one guy, um, uh, Super Meat Boy is a two-man team. Mm-hmm. And you're watching, you know, one of them lives at home with his family. Um, what was it, North Carolina? I think, and sure. he really just wants to be able to pay off his parents' bills, and he's like, if this does well, then I can do that, you know, I can get a car, and I can afford to eat, you know, because he can't, he doesn't have any of that stuff, and then um, his partner, who lives in, I think Santa Monica, was it, or something, it was, it was West Coast, California, mm-hmm. and he's like, yeah, I am, uh, we'd like to buy a house, a real, you know, a nice house, and uh, my wife wants to get a, uh, a hairless cat so you know we just kind of want to improve our lives and if it does well then we can do that or if it just has enough money to pay for another game then that would be great too turns out it was the top selling xbox live arcade game you know so they just made a ton of money off that um, not to mention the pc sales then afterward like when it finally came out on pc like it, huge it went crazy on it was, there too it was out yeah so who wants to make an indie game yeah. Um, <laughs> I find you like, Anybody know how to program? I'm not. Not games. <laughs> You're like, what, what's, <laughs> what's, uh, I'm not high fiving you. You don't know how to make games. I, I know I, Java. I, um, I'm good at storyboarding and concept art. <laughs> it, it's amazing, though. If anyone cares about how video games are made and you want to learn more, check this out. If it's you want to really learn about independent, film, independent games, especially. Check it out. I mean, you know, Braid was one guy. Yeah. And he made it all from scratch. And it is so amazing. And the thing that got me is, you know, I'll tell this. And um, his new game is going to be PS4 exclusive for a while. Yeah. The Witness. He is very unhappy with Microsoft, the whole process. Yeah. Very unhappy with it. He's not the first. He's very outspoken. Well, the indie guys got screwed. He's not as outspoken as Phil Fish. No. Phil Fish is mad at life. Well, that's the big thing. Some a lot of indie guys are a lot of the indie guys are n- not back in Xbox with this. Um, a lot of them aren't, so it's because they're not as a... friendly to bringing in new people. Is that's one thing. Place Sony has always been all about that. Where they'll find someone that has a good product and then they'll they'll bring it to their system. Yeah. You know, a lot a lot like the, you know, previously until we we saw things like Uncharted or or. Uh, <clears throat> Infamous, like very few people have heard of, like Naughty Dog or Sucker Punch, you know, or even Ninja Theory for for at all. Yeah, you know, and Sony brought them into the light, and they made some good good stuff. I mean, like, I I don't I don't mean to hate, you know, I'm not hating on Microsoft, but like a little bit as a, a corporation, bit. they do tend to crush. Sony small came people. right out and said uh, recently too that they are the PlayStation 4's primary focus is gaming. Yeah. Other things will be announced later. Just kind of twisting the knife in the corpse of Microsoft after their press conference the other week. Just kind of twisting the knife. You guys are acting like this is such a big deal. Oh my god, they're not announcing games. It's this, not that they're not... It's still, people still want to line up outside the door and buy those consoles. I didn't say they weren't, and I didn't say that it was... You did, you did say... You said the corpse of Microsoft, though. I would say they're more of... They're, they're just, just putting their it's thumb... It's just a corpse. It's they're still putting, a corpse. They're, it's not dead. They're, a corpse is... Whatever. They're putting their thumb in it's the bullet corpse. wound of Microsoft, you know? Yeah. Because Microsoft shot itself in the leg. Yeah. And they're like, I'm going to put some salt in they've this got, with my thumb. They've got the, the Morton iodized salt, and they're just sitting there Sony going... shot themselves in the leg, and, and Microsoft... It, it's 
Sony shot their leg. What, what? Yeah, the PS3 launch was not was good. It was awful. It was bad. So? Um, well, I mean, they made up for it. They made up for it with exactly. games. Exactly. So, it's, 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 so basically right now, it's just the opposite is happening. Right now, the, the, the Microsoft launch is not doing too hot. They'll make they up for it. Well, I mean, like, the, you know, you know the momentum, I mean, their press is, conference is, the momentum is with it's anyway, because, Sony right now. Yeah, and it's their fault, though, because they chose to present things the way they did. But it really wasn't for the gamers. Like, that press conference was not for anyone in this room. It, it was, was for you know the moms. Was, then they shouldn't have had a press you know conference. Who it was Because that's Brood the only people... We're the only people that watch press conferences. It was Dude for, bros. Yeah, it, it was for the... Moms don't watch press conferences. It was for the people, like, it was kind of like, hey, you like your Wii? You, so like, you like that crappy Wii U? But that's you irrelevant. Bought? Hey, here's a system that does everything the Wii U does, but better. But that's Every, irrelevant because that's... Everything you enjoyed that's about That's not how systems. they would have presented that anyway, because those people don't watch press conferences. Those okay. people don't know about that stuff. But where was it? It was right in the middle of... The Xbox console. The Xbox console mm-hmm. for how long? Like and they're building week. up to it so that those guys that play Madden, they play Call of Duty... Or they hop on to watch your Netflix or your Hulu or your HBO Go, and there it is. It's in still... A, and they, in, yeah. in a big box that's 90% of your screen almost. It's and like, they're like, oh, hey, I'll check this out. I'm up at this time. Why not? You know? Because yeah. I had class and now I'm doing this, or... Yeah, I just went, like, to the, I went to the gym, gym tan lunch laundry. That's not the target demographic <laughs> for a press conference. The target, the target demographic is people the early watch... adopters and the people that want to play games. It's not... How do you know? Are, have, you, have you been sitting in the... That was, it was I, aimed at those people. I guarantee it. The target of the Microsoft of the press, press conference? conference? The yeah. target in the Microsoft press press offices? Yeah. You don't know the how... You, you guys don't... You don't know how they're marketing this. It was. It's marketing towards... Everyone else besides exactly. gamers. Exactly. This point because, because everyone knows the Wii U is sucking like monkey turds. The moment, and the mo- the more people you get interested in your system, the more people that'll buy it. Because, I mean, it does everything that I mean. The Xbox and uh, you know 360 and the PlayStation 4 both PlayStation 3 both started the all inclusive media, you know, all in one box, and then they're taking it a step further with this next generation. But they just want to let people know that it's still goes on they're taking it to another step that's what the press conference was about because when e3 walks out the people that are going to actually watch e3 they're going to be like look at these crazy games you know yeah. and e3's their press conference e3 is going to be for us it's yeah. going to be everything dedicated else was to for us. everyone else and it, it they might not i mean the only thing i'm really looking forward to from microsoft is go pitch me some good launch titles and i might look at your system because my girlfriend's probably going to buy it anyway but <clears throat> still, I mean, show me, show me a new Halo game. Why? Why should I get this instead of buying? You know, I'm actually the next game looking just forward for to E3 that because I want to see more for the Bungie. 360. Bungie's new game looks awesome. Destiny looks good. Mm-hmm. Um, I tell you what, though, uh, let's go ahead and get some news bites. We're running a little long, news but our uh, our guest um, what was it had a family kind of incident. In the wind so here a little bit, sorry. We went ahead and just said we're going to do kind of our own thing and just uh, talk about our stuff and you know did a very extended what are you doing. Hey. So let's get to the news and then um, people like the what are you doing. And then after the news segment, uh, we'll just uh, do a little wrestling talk, just uh, keep it short and simple, and then we'll call it. So what's we got? Uh, so top ten of the box office numbers this week. Um, Fast Six came in at number one with ninety-seven. With there you go. How, is, is that is that better? That's much better. Boo. Isn't it better? Boo! I know a movie that's better than Fast Six, and I saw it. It's called mm. Star Trek well, Into Darkness. We'll, we'll get there. Must so been out for two weeks now, though. Fast Six yeah. came ninety-seven point three mil. <laughs> number uh, number two was a Hangover Part Three, which was an Awful movie. Just really? Did you see it? Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Oh, it was Cumber not funny. Forty-one point six mil. <laughs> just forty. Who, 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 I didn't see the second uh, Hangover, and I don't really care for the third, except for watching a giraffe get hit by an overpass. That wasn't even funny. That wasn't even funny. That was just sad. It was just sad. It was like running over a squirrel. Sad. It, it was sad. It was. Uh, yeah. yeah. It, it's a dark comedy that never. It uh, wasn't funny. even a dark comedy. Was it was even just, funny. Shank? No. No. No one was funny. Lame. Um, Star Trek in the Darkness was number three at thirty-seven point two million. The movie is so good. That's the movie. Go see. Don't go see The Hangover. Go see Star Trek. Go see Star Trek or Fast Six. Whatever your preference. Yeah. Seriously. If you're a fan of good films. Uh, number four was uh, Epic, came in at thirty three point five mil. I need to see mil. that movie. Don't. 
What? Just don't. What? Don't. Is it bad? Home video. What? Home video. Uh, number five is Iron Man 3. Came in at 19.3 mil. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Not enough of that, actually. Not enough yeah. pew, pew. Uh, if you want to, if if you don't want to go see Iron Man three, just go to how it should ended dot com and watch how it should have ended Iron Man three. He she, yeah, he she's fun. And watch our discussion online also. Yeah, that's a good one. We had a good discussion. We had a good discussion about that one. Yeah, uh, the Great Gatsby came in number six, thirteen point five mil. Really, it was really I, good. I need to see it. I do want to watch that. I might take me girlfriend. I really enjoyed it. She'll like it. Really. Um, and then here's and then it was then. A, it was a good take on it. Like it, the way that they did the music and everything, like it made it made sense. It fit. It was super good. It was yeah, uh, best best adaptation of Gatsby I've ever seen. Okay. Fantastic. Well, okay, um, Caprio is good. And here's the drop off. Okay, yeah, yeah, we guessed master number six. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we're fine. Yeah, just, yeah, we're fine. Keep keep going. Number seven was uh mud came in at one point nine mil, and uh, number eight was forty two at one point two mil. Number nine, the crude is still hanging on in the top ten at one point two million dollars. Wow. Making that money in that Nicholas Cage. <laughs> every <laughs> Nicholas week, Cage wants that cake. Like every week since we started this podcast, I feel that like he's been making money on that movie. And that yeah. makes me hurt on the inside. That that actually hurts me. Mm-hmm. He wants it on that he wants it on the Spinal Free, by the way. Yeah, I hope he doesn't get it. Uh and I don't know, that'd be alright. I don't know. I've, 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 I want Weston has to be the villain. He could do it. Yeah. Maybe everyone else is going to be like vampires and like Blittle just like coming on a motorcycle. You know who they need? Hmm. Who? Dennis Rodman. Okay, and number 10 was Oblivion. <laughs> I was like, at, uh, 800, uh, 800,000. So. Yeah. Oblivion was a good film. Yeah. I do want to watch it. I'm probably going to get it on Blu ray. Should we read my review? And uh, that was the box office top 10. Uh, easy. All right. Do some gaming there games. are a few releases coming out this week. Are there um, any, uh, any are they on good t- good systems or on yeah. TDS? Yeah. Oh no, there's good systems. Uh, Remember Me is coming out for 360, PS3, and PC. Uh, it looks kind of interesting. Um, not What's something about? that you should rush out and buy, maybe, you but it looks kind of interesting. Um, it's weird to explain. You know what? We'll we'll have to. Do look later. into that okay. yeah. because I, I've watched video of gameplay and it's a third person action game with yeah. neat stuff that's all I can tell you it it looks interesting is it like Inception time based no, I, I don't stuff? know I don't know, I, I don't maybe. know. I'll have to do some research it looks interesting yeah. looks like Google's um, gonna be my, my there play is, some the season. they're finally doing a disc based release for Minecraft neat. so all that those little, all those poor little kids that don't have internet <laughs> Their mom doesn't understand that they have to download something in Microsoft Points and they dirt, 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 can't process it. I might actually play Microsoft. All those you people that can't figure Minecraft. out how to get online in the 21st century can finally play Minecraft. And that'll be nice because I can hand them that. Um, what? <laughs> anyway, keep Marvel on. Heroes finally comes out. Uh, it's supposed to be June 4th for its actual release date. Many, I know they're getting some early players many, uh, in now. How many characters are we looking at? Oh, uh, there's a lot. Like 10 million? I don't know. There's a lot of playable as as characters. Play 525,600 I think they're adding more or something. Oh, wait, but no, there's it's rent. Don't okay. do Go ahead. <laughs> I prefer these. Actually. I don't know these if this. I don't know if Lee this thing. release date is legitimate or not. Uh, but Mojang's new title, Scrolls. Uh, for those of you who don't know, that's the creators of Minecraft. Their new title, Scrolls, which is a card battle type game, which is weird. is supposed to be releasing. I don't. I haven't really heard any news card about battle. that lately, so I don't know if that's accurate. Pokemon. Um, but that's just on that list that I have here. And that's that's really. Yu-Gi-Oh. That's really the new releases uh, as of this moment. <laughs> wow. <What? laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so, I just like to do your move. Like, nice. Yeah. Okay. I believe in the heart of the cards. With, with Remember Me, it's just, it's so forgettable. It's live for the Because it's coming dragon. out between, you know. It's in, it's sandwiched in between the two biggest weeks of the year. Right. Mm. I, don't, I mean, we like, had the Microsoft press conference. Fuse came out. Remember Me is coming out. We had a what was it? The port of the 3DS uh, version of Resident Evil, 
And you know, all yeah. these games came out, but no one's going to really remember because what comes out here soon, the besides Last besides The Last of Us, which Animal will be Crossing, huge. Oh, uh, I, I, and then I eat, completely forgot how huge I was anticipating waiting with bated breath for Animal Crossing. I mean, you know, when it comes down to it, what are you going to buy? Are Eli's you, like, why weren't you? Are you going to buy like Remember Me, or are you, you going to buy, buy The Last of Us? I'm going to buy The Last you know? of Us. I've already yeah. bought The Last of Us, technically. I gotta exactly. Go. Like, yeah. you're, you're, like, you don't even know what Remember Me is, and nope. it comes out next week. Yeah. Because it's not, the it's last not of us. getting much hype. I mean, there's been some trailers and some talk it, about it, but... Uh, if I see, you know, the, the production team that I've been following for, uh, for The Last of Us, if any of those people are on a project, I look at it. Yeah. Well, that's why, you know, we have Fuse here, because, because it's Insomniac, Insomniac has made a lot of great games, oh, of course. unfortunately I this is a stumbling, them, so. but we'll still look at it, and we're yeah, probably going to do some stuff with that. A lot, of the, a lot of the launch day footage yeah. that I've watched from Fuse has made me very happy that I decided against it. I just wish we because had... Because it's very average. It, I wish we had two copies of this. We could do four-person co-op because you know, that's the only days, reason to have it. When it's one cheap, of these days yeah. in a month and a half when it's $20. Yeah. Um, that's true. I might look at it. Well, I think that that wouldn't be terrible if uh I also uh, realized that I did. just had a news tidbit. Um, EA Games... Uh, we may have talked about this a little bit on Tuesday, I think. They decided no more online paths. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and Fantastic. so they have removed all the online passes from their games that are currently out now. So, like, if you own one, a used copy of that game now, you can just have the online pass for free. But it's specific games. See, uh, I... It's all the ones that had the online pass. Well, I thought it was the ones that had the online pass, but also that still had their server active. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. The, obviously I, that the server I just wanted still to active, clarify because otherwise that. there would be no online for you to go to, Nathan. Like Mercenaries 2, I don't know if the server still It didn't have that. an online pass, though, did it? Yeah, it did. Did it? It was one of the first Project $10 games. Was it really? Yeah. I, I don't thought, remember I, that. I, I believe it. I don't have remember that. putting a code in. For Mercenaries 2? I don't remember actually playing that game one. at all because I didn't care. Oh, that game was Dude, Mercenaries 2 is awesome. You don't game is so much fun. No, But it was also broken. It was, it was very it was broken, very broken course, but it was that's so the fun much part fun. about it. It was so broken. <laughs> Dropping was a bomb so or something, just calling surviving in that junk. You put an airstrike on your Jeep, and then you like abandon the Jeep and watch it fly into a building, and the airstrike's like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Also, the uh, what was it? The gas gas rockets we fuel talked about. Air fuel rockets. air rockets. Yeah, what it, it, it's a rocket goes out. It, it mists like this big like explosive fuel out. And then it just goes... It ignites it, and then just death. It's amazing. It's great. I, I gotta find my copy of that. Yeah, we I, need to play that. It's gotta be in there somewhere. It's over there somewhere. Um, so, I want to talk about just for a little bit, a little wrestling. A little um, wrestling. I didn't even know that wrestling still existed. Seriously, dude. It was... We need CM Punk back. We need CM Punk back. Well, he's he's out. Yeah, he's, yeah. Like, he's on like, his vacation. I know um, you haven't paid any attention since I don't, because uh, it, like, WrestleMania. there's nothing happening. We need CM Punk. There's back. nothing cool. Bad. Like they had all the hype leading up to WrestleMania. The hey, the and then Raw they had showed the, up. They had the best he Raw ever. A little bit here, and then, and then after that Raw, it just went downhill. Yeah. Rock, Rock got hurt. Like he got hurt bad. I know. You know, and he's okay now. He just got cleared to start training again, hardcore. Because so he's going to be Hercules though, like, there's in a movie. Like, Wait, there's what? Just, like nothing happened. He's going to be Hercules in a new movie coming out soon. Uh... Come on, man. It's Come on, Rock. Mr. Rock. You gotta beat that millions and millions of dollars. The Hercules. Millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. <laughs> Hercules, Hercules is Greek. Thank Rock you for watching the Time Rose Brain Trust podcast. Um, listening. Well, you, they will technically be watching on YouTube, but yeah. listening on YouTube. Anyways. So, hey, Raw, Raw was huh? lacking, but they're building up with some stuff. Would you say that Raw was a little undercooked? Oh. It was not well done. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, yes. oh my god! I love it. And thank you for listening to the Time Watch Podcast. Oh, we are not please. ending on that note. We are not. <laughs> we uh, thank you for that was listening. amazing. Why? So, Why is the Rock playing Hercules? This <laughs> 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 is makes no, rock. This is makes rock, no sense. He has to have twenty movies come out because they keep he keeps making rock. more money because GI Joe Two he wants did to be Luke so Cage. well. Hey, hey, hey. He, wa he wants to be Luke Cage. My only problem with that is I don't see him but coming to the TV black. show. He's half black. The Rock's half black, half Samoan. So? Yeah. But Luke Cage is all black. <laughs> so? He's, he's all chocolate. <laughs> he's 
dark chocolate, baby. Yeah. His <laughs> Iron Fist calls him midnight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. What a third. <laughs> what a third. <laughs> and that brings us to welcome to the finale. Uh, to the finale. Uh, well, I guess that was a short wrestling segment. I just, I, all I gotta <laughs> say, say is that when you make a superhero movie God. or a video game movie, I would like something accurate to the material. Yep. Yeah, but then, but everyone's so, but then everyone's be like, and then but everyone gets upset when people fanboy against the fact that Johnny Storm might be black. I'm okay with that as Wait. long as Susan Storm is. I'm black. not okay Why with that be either. Black? That's I, stupid. I'm not being racist, but. For the longest time, he's been white. Yes. It's, just, it's strange. But if you put the situation together, okay, it's... What's the know, situation? Okay, well, honestly, the situation itself is stupid. Because the Fantastic Four concept is terrible. Where you have four people going up in a spaceship. They get hit by you know cosmic rays. They're given superpowers. All right, you Why have, is that stupid? Hold on. Look at the people. Johnny Storm was not a scientist. Okay. All right, Ben Grimm is a pilot. Uh, a pilot, so that makes sense. Mr. Fantastic, scientist. Reed Richards is a scientist, one of the smartest people in existence. And Sue Storm, what was she? Was she? She's a scientist. Was she's she a scientist? scientist? Okay. okay. Why I'm, was the brother on the thing? Because, because he's extreme. He, baby. I want to tell you why he was on. I, I found this out this uh, during my study for Nerd War. I found out why he was on. He was on because he snuck. He snuck on with Ben Grimm, and they were because the government cut the funding. So Reed decided he had to do it on his own. So Johnny snuck aboard with it them. Ex- it wasn't extreme enough with uh, without like extreme sports by motors. And that's why he was on. Okay, but all right. In the movie though, why was he on board the space station? The movie makes no sense. Exactly. Movies are awful. So, I was explaining the comic book reason why it doesn't need it to make sense. Concept, it needs to make a, a little thing bit. Just a that happens. Yeah. Superheroes you take, go. You also have to take into effect that it was created by Stan Lee. So it doesn't have to make sense. That's true. Well, Stanley has done a lot of good. Uh-huh. It's just the Fantastic Four has not been that. I've never liked the Fantastic. The what was it? The Future Foundation. That's cool. Some because of the stuff. Have you seen Spider-Man's costume for the Future Foundation? It was awesome. Yeah, no, that was awesome. It was one of the best looking Spider suits in a long time. You know his relationship that he had grown with uh, Reed Richards. So cool. Let's not talk about Spider-Man because I'm starting to get angry now. Moving on. Oh, uh, what about uh? Superior Spider-Man? Because Peter is dead. Yet yeah, the the entity known as Peter Parker no longer exists. I don't believe that. That's not true. They're going to bring him back at some point. Probably have to do a brand new day kind of thing Dan or Slott something. Said Dan. Marvel's stupid. Dan Slott will make sure he doesn't come back. But the moment <laughs> Dan Slott is gone, someone else will say, All right, I don't know. It could, it could come from the top. Like, you know. This, when, could, this could be Spider-Man an Axel Alonso Joe Quesada order. Yeah. Like when, when Spider-Man decided that... uh. You know his his life and relationship with his, his the woman he loves is Mom. not as important as uh, this dying old woman that told her, him to let her go. So he'd make a deal with the devil. Well, now she's she's alive and she's over in what New Jersey? Ooh. She's in Boston or Boston? Married that's what it was. J. Jonah Jameson's father. I don't know how he's still alive, but yeah, that man must be like a hundred years old because J. Jonah Jameson is like 60. retirement age. Mm-hmm. You know, but married. I, I just. I, I, when I was a kid, one of the found one of the defining moments <laughs> of comic books was Spider Man's marriage. I thought that was really sweet. Like the X Men, like Cyclops, Jean Grey thing. Pfft, who cares? Spider Man though, that was cool. And then he was like, you know what? I just don't like them married. Let's make a deal. With it was them. just it was him and her trying to make it on their own. You know, the two of them. Because and... Spider Man is the want... underdog. Are you ready? Yeah. Joke is how I wanted Spider Man to be relatable. So a married Spider Man wasn't relatable to readers. How, how could, so how, making how him could single he, again. How could the he's underdog dating. of the comic book universe not be relatable? He got he, he was got, married and, and he having was kids. divorced. He had like stuff happen to him. He's gone through so much crap. And I mean he he was the everyman of Marvel. That's why JMS left. So why JMS left the, after the other. He left. He was done because they juke that story. They juke that story so much. I just. I liked the direction they were going, and then he was like, gone. <laughs> back to back to back to mechanical web shooters and Dumb. no powers, no, no sweet cool, powers, no sweet powers. <clears throat> the moment that someone expresses, I'm sorry, Easy. I know you're a DC fanboy, so we'll stop. I talking do like about, DC though. DC we'll stop talking about Marvel now. The, DC is the only comic that the only company that I collect recently because I 
They only have one good series, though, and it's the Batman family. That's oh, I'm true. sure you like Green Lantern. I like Green Lantern. Green, Green, Green Lantern's Lantern. really good, too. It's really right good. The new Wonder Woman's really good. And the art is... Catwoman's really good. Uh, Green Lantern. They're all Hugo's. good. Catwoman ain't really good. Cat. Aquaman's good. <laughs> Jeff Johns can write some Aquaman. Justice League Jeff is good. Jones, after after what he did the, to Green Lantern, after Brightest The Day. Superman stuff is getting better. Oh. Yeah, how long ago did they do the new Fifty Two reboot though? Last a year September. and a half. Right, so it's taking it's taken over eighteen years it was or September. eighteen months. Last September. Right? No, it was a year and a half. Wow. It's been a while. Two thousand eleven September. They they had a lot of growing pains. We'll say that, and now they're getting to a meanwhile, point where with everything except Batman, Batman. Meanwhile, Marvel like, Batman was always Batman good. was just good. Go. I don't think there was a Marvel Now book that's been canceled yet, because a lot of them are good. Oh man, Cable and X Force, so amazing. Anyway. So. So it is. We're um, still in the finale. Oh, I know. Let's we'll talk about what we're going to be doing uh, the upcoming week. Uh, I'm going to be, but basically just uh, you know watching Netflix, playing Fuse, and trying to play some more games. I There's will be prepping for Nerd War. There's going to be stuff popping up on the site. Um, Nerd War. I'm closing in on finishing it's okay. uh, Luigi's Mansion. There'll be a review on that. Uh, probably this weekend. Good. And well, uh, there'll be a Diablo three write up uh, talking about the one year anniversary, and uh, it's going to be it's going to be a review and it's going to be a retrospective uh, of what they've done to it in the past uh, year. Doom conquers all, Stephen. <laughs> guys, Doom guys, conquers all. guys. Just chill out. How can you save conquer it. Someone that chill can out. Be save in it. Every second save it. Once? Save it. Okay. And first off, save it. you can't use Ion. Why save not? it. He's got godlike powers. And that's too powerful. What? That's like having the Infinity Gauntlet. You can't have the Infinity Doom Gauntlet. Doom Map 2. Huh? Didn't Doom Map 2? Yes, he can't have them in this. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, he's too powerful. He's not too powerful. He can't have godlike powers. That's why I'm probably not going to be able to do Man. Cthulhu. Yeah, it probably will be too powerful. Um, Alright, we'll, we'll talk about Cthulhu some more off a there. Cthulhu from in between the space and time. Of course you can't have Cthulhu. <laughs> yeah, but See? it was funny he said exactly. it, though. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. Um... It would all be dependent off Relay was... Anyway. <laughs> all right, we're going we're gonna to have lots of content. Sorry, sorry. I'm... Check back for all of our stuff. We have the uh, Let's Play Minecraft. We've got Time Rust Tuesday. I think my strategy now. We have no, you know, video reviews. Actually, which um, version of Ion? That's what we're going to talk about. Okay. So you can't be ultimate, super duper. We're going to have to depower him a little bit. Lame. Sorry, that's, that's <laughs> if you want to use. If that's I can't why, have Ion, that's can't why have Batman. No, dude. Batman's a regular ass dude. Your argument is that Batman can beat anybody. Well, he can't. You can't do the I'm Batman. That's what you can't do. <laughs> you can't go. Well, if I, let's see. If, 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 if I can't have Ion, he can't have a utility belt. What? The utility that belt even, is the The Mary utility Sue? belt doesn't have godlike powers. Yes, it does. It might as well have okay. yes, like does. All right, you have to list everything in the utility belt before we go in. How's that? You have to Do list. Do I have a list of everybody's character? Nope. No. I'll, I'll give you the list of everything that Black Panther and Doctor Doom have. Oh. I'll just go through and list everything for every character in every universe. If he can be prepared no. for a chance encounter with Spider-Man with that utility belt, <laughs> then I should be able to play Ion. No! Oh my! All right, we're gonna go now. This is killing me. <laughs> Post rebirth ion. I'll give it that. It's not well, the same. We have to look at the powers. Like I said, we have to look at the power set. All right, folks. Uh, thanks for listening. Check us out. Buy more comics. Do stuff. More Buy games. the new Daft Punk album. It's good. <sighs> oh, it's failed. different but good. All right. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so get ready for our E three coverage. We're gonna rock <laughs> your world. Yep. Live blogs out the wazoo. I'm excited for E three. That's it, everyone. Thanks for listening. Have a good day. Free shipping.